You'll experience culture, luxury, even adventure as you admire some of the world's most notable landmarks and enjoy the peace and tranquility of the white beaches of UAE. Talk about a trip of a lifetime. I mean, I loved it. Oh my gosh, Susan Teeple in today, just <laughs> back from the area. Yeah. How long did you spend over there? We were there a little over a week, so 10 days. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing that's really nice about it is DFW is a direct flight to Dubai. Really? I mean, it, it's harder to get to the Caribbean. That's remarkable, so, huh? I mean, sure, it's long, but it's as long as going to Europe, so why not? Just okay. Just something different. Let's, the first question I think everybody asks, in, or and at least I would ask, yeah. talk about the culture, and is it tolerant, is it safe? Very tolerant. The UAE, especially in the Middle East, their, their, their slogan this year as a country is tolerance. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that, you know, of course the natural, I mean, the national, um, religion is Islam, mm -hmm. but it's so fascinating. They have a lot of tolerance towards other religions and the people are as nice as you can imagine. And tolerance for, I mean, women, like, do you have to dress a differently? Absolutely. Like, what is women the Women can choose what they wear. So mm -hmm. if they want to wear the full burqa and, and cover their heads, most of them cover their heads, but not their face, it's totally up to them. There is a modesty so there's there's not a lot of PDA. Sure. Okay. <laughs> which, yeah, which is fine, I right? Refreshing. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know right? Thank you. Yeah. But um, there's some restrictions there. But really, other than that, um, there's very few Emiratis too. So there's 85% of their population are expats. So it, it was kind of hard to find an Emirati, but yeah. they're treated very well by their government, and they're very happy people, and they're very much. Um, promoting tourism, so I think it's a great time to go. Okay, so you brought back some photos oh for us. Take us through. I'm particularly excited about the this. Camels. So camels are fabulous. Um, their eyelashes are something <laughs> to behold. <laughs> right? But it's I mean, there's these dunes, these amazing dunes called the em the empty quarter, all around the Emirates, and so you can literally have a, a stopover on your way to Africa in Dubai, and you can go and ride some camels out in the desert, and I highly recommend it. But um, it's such a fun excursion to do. They, they're really comfortable and fun to ride. That's so cute. Now there's, look at this there's friend. Look at that camel smiling. Oh my having gosh. Having a great time. There, it's really, it's it's tricky to get on them. Okay. I'm not going to lie because they lift their hind feet up first and then their front. So you've, you've got to hold on for dear life, but it's worth the ride. Okay, it's so talk about fun. temperature. Were you just temperature, burning up? Temperature, um, it was, I mean, it's a solid, you know, I don't know, 80, 90. Uh -huh. So it's warm. Yeah. Um, th but look at this. Isn't that worth it? So the first Beautiful. place we went is in the empty quarter. So we were about in, uh, 30 minutes from the Saudi Arabian border here. And there's, that's where Star Wars was filmed. The uh -huh. last Star Wars, was they, the, the crew was there. It, there are so many cool activities to do in the desert that's completely different. Uh, one thing that we did that I don't think I have a picture of is falcons, like watching the falcon that's uh -huh. their national bird, and they train them. And to watch them fly, it's majestic. It's wow, so cool. But you can, cool. you can, oh, this was when we went in Abu Dhabi to the mosque. That is the only time that as a tourist, you would have to cover completely mm -hmm. um, out of respect. This is a, this whole facility building beautiful mosque is marble. It is stunning to be there in person and hear their call to worship. It's really a, a, a very special experience. And I love, Abu Dhabi's like the DC uh -huh. of the Emirates. And then I'd say Dubai is more like the New York, Got right, in my opinion. And okay. I love them both. This is the presidential palace, uh, Qasar al Watan. I think I'm saying that right. That and sounded good to me. So basically the Emirates were formed in 71. So they're a new country. Sure. So they built this building. Putin was there 10 days before I was there. Um, George and Laura Bush were there cool. two days before I was there. And this is a, a place that they tour and they have um, different um, st state activities, but mm -hmm. it's gorgeous. Wow. Uh, okay, this is Dubai. Okay. So one thing another people don't realize about the two major cities in the Emirates, they're on the coast. Mm -hmm. So Abu Dhabi consists of 280 islands. And uh, of course, then Dubai felt left out, so they just start building these man-made ones. But this was our, our this was a man-made island off the coast of Dubai. You look behind you, so I'm, this is the Persian Gulf, you're swimming in it, it's crystal wow. clear water. And the people, there's not a lot of Americans as tourists there, so I think it's kind of a fun thing. We're with a lot of Europeans, and um, but you would look behind you, it would be the the world's large, largest, tallest building, whatever. It's right yeah, yeah, you're yeah. in this urban setting, but and then right there, that. there's a beach. It's it's so stunning. it's a little bit for uh, for everybody. Absolutely, That's I think so that neat. there's you can go to the Sooks and uh -huh. visit the spice markets, the gold markets. We did that. I mean, there's endless activities. You, I mean. I can say from my perspective, I left wanting to go back and take my children and just experience learn more. more. Absolutely. You can all, always it's, learn more it's about very that. Very special. Suze, thank you yeah, so much. Of so if you have questions about traveling over to the Middle East and to UAE,
give my good friend Susan a shout. All right, stick around to everybody. With screens virtually everywhere, controlling your child's screen time can be a little bit challenging. So how do you manage it? We've got advice next. Somehow, I'll wake up young again. Oh,